Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we got another dope video for you guys. So today what we're going to be doing is playing a triple heal comp. Now we haven't showed you guys this comp yet. It is a very broken comp. Obviously Poco, Pam with the heals and then Gene with magic puffs. It's a really broken comp. The only thing that counters it is tick. So we're going to see what happens. Hopefully we don't go up against any ticks, but if we do, we'll try and show you guys how to avoid it. It's probably the most broken gem comp if it comes to overall trophies and absolutely everything if you consider all the maps. So we're going to hop into the game. We're going to show you guys exactly how to play this comp. So with that being said let's hop into the games and let's show you guys what to do okay so here we go into the first game so we're going to be going up against gene nita and sandy so this is a really good combo we should be able to do really good against this again anything besides a tick we do we seem to do a really good job against so we're going to shoot these bushes over here we suspect someone to be in here okay so it's gonna be a sandy on this right side so the sandy does have a good peak angle good heals over here from our poco we're able to get a lot of hp back so again we're just going to push the sandy the closer we get to it the better for us gonna put our turret right over here they won't be able to get to the turret without taking damage we're gonna shoot this little area over here we found the gene we're in our turrets we're getting good heals things are looking good we're gonna go right beside the Nita. gonna be able to get that kill so things are looking really good gonna put our turret up here so that the gene can't pull us obviously just gonna chill behind here we're gonna try and figure out where this gene is he's hiding there trying to pull Everything is basically at a standstill right now. Good kill over there by our Poco. Again, we're just shooting over here. I'm going to put this turret in the mid. Block any Gene pull. Gene's going to pull it. They're just going to take damage and nothing is really going to happen. Again, going to throw my turret, get the kills, and there we go. You guys saw how we use that turret. It's not just for heals. It can also be for body blocks. You guys saw we're able to body block there for our Poco. Just gonna shoot over here. Gene won't have pull, and he shouldn't really be too close to pull at that. Gonna be able to kill that Nita over there. Sandy's over here, but nothing is gonna end up happening, and that is gonna be the first game. So that was really broken. You guys saw how easily we walked through this team. So we're gonna try doing the exact same thing. Let's hop into, let's hop into the next game, and let's see if we can keep it going. Okay, so here we go into the next game. Now we're gonna be facing Tara, Rosa, and Mortis. So although Tara and Rosa are two probably top, to, well, two top ten brawlers, they don't have great synergy on this map. Now Tara can change any point of any game of any mode with one pull so we obviously do have to be careful but we should be fine here so we have a rosa in this right bush it's obviously going to cause us some trouble i think we're just going to go right up to this rosa and see what happens because i know we can do a lot of damage to it as a pam there we go able to easily take this out so we're going to put this right over here so that our mid can also get some good heals we're just going to be spraying this middle area over here because this is the path that they're going to be using to walk through. So if we're just spraying this down, we should be fine. The Poco heal, the Pam turret, we're going to be chilling over here. They're not going to be able to get that kill on us. Going to be able to take it out very easily. This Mord's going to go for us. Not going to be able to do anything. Another easy takeout. Um, and this comp, I mean, I'm not joking when I say this, this comp is amazing on every single gem map. Now, I haven't shown a lot of gem gameplay. I recently did a poll. I thought Siege was the second most liked mode in the game, but I guess that is only for top players. Um, as you guys like gem the second most, which I was really surprised about. So I'm going to be showing you guys some more gem gameplay and some more good gem comps. Um, as of late, going to put this turret down right here just to give me additional heals. But I'm going to back up. And again, another really easy 10 to 0 win. Uh, they're going to pull the Rosa right into us. Going to be able to get that kill. Going to drop this turret. Obviously, the Mortis can't do anything with the triple heal that we have right now. That's going to be another really easy W. So, again, nothing's able to stop us. Let's hop into the next game. And let's see if we can continue this going. Okay, so here we go into the next game. And uh, we're going to be going up against a Primo, a Carl, and I think it was a Poco. I'm not sure. No, a Penny. Okay. So, Primo's going to be right here. So a lot of people actually undervalue how much damage a Pam can do. So we're just going to try and go straight through this Primo. We're not going to be able to. But we do get our turret, um, which is good. But at the same time, Primo also has his jump. So it's going to be a little bit brutal. So we're going to put this here and try and identify where the Primo is. We can see it straight away. He's going to jump on us. We're going to be able to get those heals. He's going to use another jump on us and he's going to be able to get the kill. But Tony should be able to finish him. He's not going to be able to. The Primo does have the speed. Okay, there we go. Good kill over there by Tony. Now we're going to have to go back into our position and try and get the kill. So we don't have a wall break, so they're at, that's one of the only negative parts also about this comp is that we don't have a wall break, but it should be fine. It's have to deal with this penny turret. So what I'm going to do is throw this right over here, which is going to hurt their turret, and see if we can take it out. Okay, so it's about one shot. We have this side pretty much on lockdown right now, so we might just have to deal with this turret for the entirety of the game. 
Not sure. Let's see if we can get some shots off on anybody. Just going to throw this right over here. We're probably going to be taken out. Really good heals over there by our Poco, actually. Our Poco's doing a fantastic job right now. He's the gems. He's looking pretty good. Should be able to take out this guy over here pretty easily. Good pull by our Gene. So it's a pretty close game. 8-6 to six right now. Their Primo has caused a lot of issues. Same with their Penny Turret. Oh, a little bit of lag here. We should be able to get a really easy kill over there. We are going to be able to. Gene pull on the Penny, and that should be game. Now, the issue is we do have a crazy, crazy Primo on us. We're just going to have to keep our distance and try and kill it. Make sure it doesn't regen, obviously. It's trapped in our spawn, not allowing it to regen. Really well played by our team over there. And we're going to be able to have 10 gems. Good pull over there by Tony. He's going to be able to get the kill. He's got to watch out over here now. Carl kind of goes to the Poco. Don't really know why. He's going to be able to get a super back. Tony can just pull this guy, though. He's going to miss, but it doesn't matter. Five, four three two one a little bit of spins but that is going to be the game so three really good games this one a little bit closer we faced kind of a counter and it was a little bit tough but we are able to still get the w so let's hop into the next game we're gonna do two more games see if we can go five and oh so let's hop into it and let's see what happens okay so here we go into the next game we're gonna be going up against gene mortis and Bo. a lot of mortis on this map which is pretty interesting but we should be able to do perfectly fine against this comp i don't think we get countered by much here Gonna push this gene, get as close as possible to be able to take it out. Gonna just throw this turret on the bow so that it doesn't regen. And we're gonna be able, oh, we walked too far in front of the turret. So he's able to get the kill. We're gonna tie over there. We should have had the W. Gonna walk up. Game is a little bit choppy right now, not perfectly smooth. This Mortis won't be able to do anything to us over here at all we're gonna be able to get that kill pretty easily we're gonna push up over here on this side and go for their gene he is one shot we're gonna leave him because we did back him up and that's good enough trying to get our super here there we go we're able to get it oh rip to our poco over there okay we're able to snipe sorry for that notification we're able to snipe the uh the mort we should be able to get that kill we're gonna be able to so now we have seven Okay, so we're looking pretty good. We got seven gems here. Blind pull over there by Tony. Really good pull. He's going to go for a play. One more dash and he's going to get bats, but we're not going to let him get that one dash. And here we go. We're going to be able to get our super using this turret as a body block. And they're not going to be able to do anything from here on out. So we're just going to spray this bow. Try and do some stuff. But unless this Mortis makes some wild plays, nothing is going to happen. Now he is kind of making some wild plays, but we have way too much heal for him to do anything. So that's going to be another dub. So we're going to hop into one more game. Let's see if we can go 5-0 and on the video. Let's hop in and let's see what happens. Okay, so here we go into our last game. And we have finally faced a Tick. So Tick is going to counter us completely. So let's see what happens here. We should be able to outplay it though. So we're going to move up this side. Tick shooting some shots. Mortis over here on my lane. I'm going to try and sneak by this Mortis and go for the Tick. Not able to, but this Mort is just going to get absolutely wrecked. Pam Turret does counter Crow, so we're just going to stand here and we're going to be perfectly fine. And we're in really good position, so we're up 3-0 right now. Going to run up on this Tick. Going to be able to get that kill. Going to throw our turret right over here. Nothing's going to be able to hurt us. Mortis is going to run into our spawn for some reason. We just got to push as close to this as possible to the tick. We can't stay away or the tick is going to do a bunch of damage to us. We're going to let our turret soak this up. Our turret's going to go down. But that's perfectly fine because we have another one. She's just going to leave this turret back here. Try and spam this guy. He's coming closer to us. So what we're just going to do is go closer to him. To be able to get that kill. Kind of forgot that there was a Mortis behind us to be honest. I'm going to put this turret right back here. And we only need one more gem here. So we should be fine. Again, the crow literally does nothing to us because of our pan tur Pam turret. It's a complete counter. So it's looking pretty good for us. Good heals over there by our Poco. Going to be able to get that kill. Going to walk up here for fun. Going to be able to get our turret. So worst case scenarios, our turret's going to body block. 
but that is going to be game and you guys see we're able to easily counter our counter by just going to its face and that is going to be it so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video it's gonna be it for today again i am away right now so i'm sorry i'm not able to give away um to announce the giveaway winners i'm going to announce them when i'm back so either on monday or tuesday but anyways it's going to be the games hope you guys enjoyed this comp it's a very good comp i'm gonna have a little bit more gem gameplay since it's obviously favored by you guys outside of brawl ball so anyways it's going to be it i will catch you guys again tomorrow see you guys then peace